In this video I'm going to show you how you can um, use some of the features in Inkscape and manipulate your text. I've done a previous video called Inkscape Text on Path which I showed you how to put text onto a wavy line or around a circle but I thought I'd just do a quick video using another option. So first of all I'm just going to um, type some text. So I'm going to come over here and choose the text icon and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to try impact and select that and then I'm going to click on the page and I'm just going to type a word so we'll just type Valentine and then click the select icon to select the word and you don't have to do this I'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see it while it's selected if you look down here you can see it says it's text and it tells you the font and the size of it but it needs to be a path before we can do anything with it so while it's selected come up here to path and then select object to path it doesn't look as though anything's happened but the description down here has now changed and it says it's a group of nine objects so while that's still selected and you know that you've, you've applied the object to path, you come back up to path and then come down to path effect editor and you'll get this new window. Now the word has to be selected for this to work. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this down arrow and I'm going to choose bend. And then once I've got bend in there, I'm going to click add and this will bring up the effects box here and then what you need to do is click on this um, black icon that's got like the nodes on it it says bend path so you click left click once on that and then what happens is your your word has now changed to having dotted lines all around it and there's one horizontal line running right through the middle and you can see that the curse has changed if you grab this line so left click and drag it up you'll see that your words start to bend because they've gone on to the path that we've applied here if you're happy with that shape you come over here to the select icon which will select the word then you have to come back up here and you have to do path object to path then you have to go to object, ungroup and then you'll see that they've all been ungrouped because there's little boxes around every letter and then you go path union and then that makes that a word that will stay on that arc and you'll be able to save this file and open it in canvas and if you look down here you can see that it's a path. So that's one. So we'll just go back to the text and click on the page and I'll keep with the same font and I'll type the same word. Come over here to select it. I'll just make it bigger again so you can see it. You don't have to do this. It's just that I'm on a smaller font at the moment than I normally use. So while it's selected, you go path, object to path. And then this time I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose envelope deformation and then again I'm going to click on the add and then this time you get more options you can play around with these and see what happens but basically to do what I'm going to show you you need the top two boxes ticked and then you'll see you've got top bend right bend bottom bend and left bend so this time I'm going to click top bend now the difference with this one is this one has now put a horizontal line across the top of the word whereas on this one when we applied the bend you had a line running through the middle. So we're going to left click again and pull this one up and if you look at the difference this time this one bent from within the middle and this one is bending from the top. So you can see that the shape is slightly different. And then I'm going to choose bottom bend. Again, you don't click on the word, you click on the little icon in the square, the um, like node pointing icon with the blue nodes. So you click on that, then the line has dropped to the bottom. 
and then you left click and you drag it down and it can be a little bit slow so you just have to let the software catch you up and let go and then you come over here to select it so you've got your word selected and you can now see it's been bent at the bottom and bent at the top you go path object to path object ungroup path union and that's another word now that will save like that in canvas so what if we want to take it a step further we'll deselect that by clicking anywhere on the page select the text i'm going to come up here and i'm going to choose a different font i'm going to choose stenciller i'm going to click once on the page and then we'll just do the same word just to keep it all the same Valentine select it I'm going to drag it out so you can see it a bit better and you can see this is a different type of font while it's selected path object to path path sorry path object to path then we've still got the path effect editor window open I'm going to keep it on envelope deformation say add I'm going to click on the top bend again and take it up I'm going to select the bottom bend and bring that one down then I'm going to click the select icon to select the word path object to path object ungroup path union now let's draw ourselves a shape so we'll select the circle icon I don't want a circle I want an oval so I'm just going to drag out a shape I'm not going to hold any keys down on my keyboard and I'm going to drag out an oval just by eye until it looks bigger than this word I have to drag it out a bit more I'm going to click this icon here to send it to the back select both by dragging an imaginary box around both come into the align icon make sure selection is in this box here and click on the third icon along on the top row and the third icon on the bottom that centers these two words centrally and horizontally and I can close that down while I've got those selected so the word is on top I'm going to go to path combine and that punches that stencil out of that circle so you could use that on a scrapbook page or on the front of a card whatever you want if you want a matting layer for this to show so something shows through as a different color select this right click duplicate I bring the duplicate out of the way just so you can see it and I'm going to change it to red just so you can see it on the screen now this is already a path it's saying here so we'll go to path this time we'll go to dynamic offset and you'll get one node and I'm going to drag this left node this middle node here this one node up to make this oval bigger and let go and select it and it still says here that it's dynamic offset so to be able to do anything with it it's got to be a path so while it's selected we're going to go to path object to path and then this time I'm going to go to view display and outline and look at it as an outline and you can see it's got some little bits in the middle that we don't want so I need to get rid of those bits so that this will cut as a flat oval shape without these little marks in it so I'm going to go to object ungroup and see if it ungroups and if it doesn't I'm going to go path break apart and that's not worked so we'll try path object to path again path break apart and this time it's broken them apart so if I click on here you'll see these little black bits and we don't want those so I'm just going to drag an imaginary box around those but not the oval because I don't want to select the oval I just want these bits in the, in the middle and I'm going to hit delete and that's just given me an oval that will be a complete oval 
So I'll go back to view, display and normal now so you can see. And then I'm going to put this over here. Come up here to this icon, lower selection to the bottom and put it behind. And you've got a matting layer now for your shaped word. So that's just another way of making text bend or being able to manipulate text within Inkscape. Then you would come to File, Save As, come up here and give it a name. I'll just call it text at the moment, .svg. I'm going to click Desktop to save it on my desktop. I've already got Inkscape here as the file option and I'm going to click Save. And that should save that file on my desktop in a minute. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to open Canvas. Come to my Brother Scan and Cut Canvas. Log in. I'm going to click on the SVG icon. It's asking me to choose my file. I'm going to navigate to my desktop and find the file and select choose. The file name's there that I gave it and say OK. And then it's brought these in for me. You can see they're all a group, so you could save those and cut those. Those are two separate items. Come up here, give it a name, just going to call it Valentine. And then I save it in Canvas first before I do anything, so I always know I've got a copy. And it's told me it's saved. And then I'm going to download it. And then you could cut it. I'm not going to cut this. I'm just going to show you the process. So you click on the blue download button. And then you'll get this window here that tells you what you need to do to save this project. So it's telling you that you right click on the following file name, which is there. That's the file name I gave it in Canvas. So you right click. Now I use a Mac, so I have download link file as. You might have here something like save target as. But whichever one it is, you choose it for your operating system. So I would click on this, download link file as, and then it asks me where I want to save it. I've not got a USB stick in my machine, so again I'm going to choose desktop and I'm going to click save. And then I close this and I can close this, and I can close this, and then on my desktop, there's the Valentine FCM, and there's the Inkscape SVG. I would just put my USB stick into my machine now, and drag it onto it ready for cutting. Okay, I've plugged a USB stick into my machine, and it's showing up here. So, on my computer, and I think this would be the same if you're using Windows, I would double click, a left double click on that folder to open it up. And then I've made folders with inside my USB stick. You don't have to do this, but I just prefer them to be a bit more organized. So I think I've got one called text somewhere. I've got I've got one called words there. So I would again double click on that to open that up and then I would just grab my Valentine scan and cut file which is the FCM and drag it into there and that just has gone in that folder. And then if you want to know how to create folders, once you've got your USB stick open like this, you would right click with your mouse in a blank space within this USB because this is this all this white space is like your USB stick if you like and then all these folders are obviously on there new folder and then it's here and then I, I would just give it a name so I'll just call this test and then you know you would double click on that and drag your things into it so that's um, how you manipulate text in Inkscape and how to save your SVG cutting file, how to convert it in Brother Scan and Cut and how to download it and put it onto a USB stick. 
all this that you need to do now is um, make sure you don't just pull your USB stick out of your machine, you have to actually eject them. On mine, I right click and click eject. And once it's gone, I know it's safe to pull it out of the back. If you're on Windows, you'll have something similar. You may have an icon down the bottom of your taskbar or something like that. Or try right clicking on it. You probably get the same kind of option. And then you can just take it out the back of your machine and go and plug it into your scan and cut. Find that folder and find your file and cut it. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.